Hello Capricorn and welcome to your December 2020 intuitive energy forecast. My name is Lisa Lyle. This is my channel here on YouTube. Please do subscribe. It helps me so much and at the end of this video or partway through when you're loving it, give me a thumbs up and drop a comment down below. That also helps. So can you believe we're into, we're almost at your season of rebirth Capricorn. What a year 2020 has been. And as we move into the energies of December, we are working with the Gemini full moon and partial eclipse, uh, lunar eclipse on the 30th of November. And then we will have a Sagittarius new moon and total solar eclipse, solar eclipse on the 14th of December. And then of course, our favorite day of the year, the solstice 1221. So I am hosting some events, um, which can be found on my Facebook, uh, Wisdom of the Heart, under the event tab. Um, so a couple of moon circles with the uh, during eclipse season, and then an event, a, a group meditation, um, and uh, grounding session, I, I would call it, on the 21st for the solstice. So if you're interested in those, please do check out um, my Facebook page, Wisdom of the Heart. Uh, as I'm not sure I will have an opportunity to update my website with those. So also as we move into December, what I'm feeling for the collective, for all of us, is that we are really being called to go deeper within our self-care practices, go deeper within our um, spiritual journey, because in essence we are spiritual in nature. Uh, so this is going to be really important. These messages um, are all pretty much guidance from, from the connection of our higher selves. That's really what seeks to um, guide, oh, this is so beautiful, guide us this month. So you're the second reading I did. I did Sagittarius first because it was their birthday, so you'll be first in January. But this is all a recurring theme so far for the two, power. So it does feel, um, first of all, solar plexus stuff going on for you. So some of you will be feeling really good and really um, aligned with your personal power, no digestion issues or anything like that. And others of you who are receiving this message are not going to be feeling so good physically. A lot of um, bloating and um, gas, <laughs> you know what that means, um, in that region. So what I'm feeling for you right away, Capricorn, is that this is a month where you are being restored to power, if you will, restoring, calling your power back. It's interesting because this is right before some of you will be December um, Capricorns and others will be January. Regardless of where you fall, at the time of your connecting with this message, it's really important that you begin to observe how you feel in your physical body. Are you bloated and gassy? Like, are you farting all the time? Uh, you know, are you, oh, just like in pain, having a hard time digesting things? Pay attention because th these are clues for you as to how to support yourself and making sure you're drinking a lot of water, fresh foods, <laughs> fresh foods foods, not dead food, fresh food, greens, um, nuts, seeds, um, fruits and veggies, lots of this kind of stuff. Breathing practices, working on getting that breath as deep as you can get it into your body, moving your diaphragm with your breath. Really, you know, standing solidly with your two feet planted on Mother Earth. And if you can do that with bare feet, even better. I really feel for you, this is, um, oh, also honoring the sun. So honoring the rhythms and cycles of the sun on a daily basis. So when the sun rises, getting up with the sun, creating ceremony around the sunrise. This is important. This is important actually for everybody. Um, I really feel guided to say that with you. It's like getting up with the sun, sitting with the sun as it's rising, 
really setting your intentions for the day going forward, working with um, uh, candles, to working with that flame, that, uh, that fire energy. It feels incredibly important for you this month, Capricorn, to align with your inner fire. Reestablish your connection to your passion and creating. If you're feeling, so for some of you, what I'm getting is some of you feel completely drained of energy. And what they're showing me is this visual of like um, umbilical cords from your solar plexus chakra here, 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 up there, down there, all around there. And they're tying you up. And I'm hearing it's time to cut the cords. The cut the cords that are draining. It's like a <sighs> siphoning of your energy away from you. Right? You don't need that. If if there's not a give and take within a relationship, if there's not a balanced exchange, the one who's doing all the giving is going to feel depleted, depressed, um, you know, like, yeah, down in the dumps, just over, like, and, and what I'm hearing is, like, lack of motivation, like, not even motivated because all your energy is being sucked away. And you may willingly have given that away. You're, you know, you're a fellow earth sign, and we love to give, we love to give, we love to give. This month, it's about giving to yourself. And as I mentioned, this is a collective theme. Uh, it feels really important for you, Capricorn, is to really, um, what do I want to say, like, master self-care. Oh, whoa. <laughs> whoa. And then we got the lovers. And it's funny because um, Sagittarius had, uh, not the lovers, but they, the, the color energy of their first card was very much like this. And then their second card was like this. And so here it's coming a bit, you know, in different positions. So this is sacral chakra energy. Um, and I do, is the lovers the tw uh, Gemini? Uh, the Gemini energy? It may be. Um, I'm not a tarot reader. <laughs> but this is about your medicine. And it's a number six. So again, six takes us to Virgo, the sixth house, taking care of your physical body. The healer healing thyself, right? Clean up your home space. Shift things around. This is a great time. I spent, I have a lot of um, house plants, 130 or so. Um, and so they're all over the place here. And yesterday I spent some time putting this baker's rack together uh, and, and moving a bunch of plants around. So now I have room for more. That's the insanity of it all. I love it. Um, but you know, just shifting it. When we move things around in our house, it really shifts the energy. Um, working with bells. I've been working with my ting shaws and bells quite a bit, you know, moving the energy out of the house. I feel like this is in, I, I feel like you before the season of your, before your birthday season, Cap, I feel like you're meant to go and do like a clean sweep of your house, getting rid of things that you're not using, really just because I feel like partially this is part of where that siphoning of your power is going as well. For some of you, you may be in beautiful divine union and it is about experiencing all the pleasures that are um, available to us in the physical body. So sexuality, sensuality, partnership with another. This is not the day and age of casual um, sexual relations. And if that's something that you're engaging and participating in, it's a pretty good chance um, your vibration is pretty low. Um, pretty low and being almost, I want to say, like anchored into the third dimension. And if that's the case, you really have to ask yourself, is that what you want for yourself? Because our sexual connections with others can either be like this siphoning of energy, triggering our wounds, uh, once we've actually done our inner work and, and the, the connection with a divine partner is meant to lift us up. It's meant to be equally um, pleasurable. So I do feel that there is a need, you know, um, to enjoy 
life. Enjoy life um, and, and to really appreciate yourself. And if you're not in partnership, this is this divine union is a union that takes place within us all. Right, the divine masculine and the divine feminine within, and really taking pleasure in yourself. I I, I see it's like they're showing me um, you like looking at yourself. Have a look at yourself in the mirror, and and really appreciate what what is there. Appreciate what you see. Acknowledge your own beauty. It feels like this this month is about a deeper connection to you. A deeper connection to you it's almost like romancing the soul is what I'm hearing so let's get some affirmations for you for this month that was the one ah. this is awesome number 30 reach for your dreams and I'm hearing how can you even know what your dreams are when you're not clear when you are um, run ragged when you are depleted of energy because you've been so busy running here there and serving everyone else focus on you this is three the number of creation the sacred trinity within merging the divine masculine and the divine feminine so that they can nurture that playful joyful creative inner child to come out and create Capricorns, you know, for me as a Virgo, I always look at Capricorn, you know, that you're the cardinal earth sign. And for me, the cardinal of any signs is like the highest embodiment of that element. And I've always admired um, Capricorn's creativity. So create, play, joyful co-creation. It says, I am the, um, I am the creator of my own dreams and achieve them with confidence. I am the creator of my own dreams and achieve them with confidence. I am the creator of my own dreams and achieve them with confidence. And what I'm seeing and feeling is that your creations flow from the purity of your heart. Trust your beautiful, beautiful wise and wonderful heart joyful co-creations and speaking of that little luna comes hi baby hi but she's not coming up she's walking over to her bed she's gonna get closer to me oh there's your card and there's another one so here's a couple more um oh look at this uh, oh my gosh capricorn honestly honestly focus on yourself this month okay because the guidance is clear remember i was talking about the body and then you've got the listen to listening to my body it's a number 38 which comes to 11. you are here on a path of mastery we don't master things outside of ourselves that's not the path of mastery controlling and domineering others no no that is the weak man's walk, if you will. The path of mastery is the walk within. The ability to master our emotions. The ability to harness our, crea harness our creativity. The ability to listen to our body when it's speaking to us. It does feel like there's a little bit of shadow, and that could be around the um, sexuality, um, the sex energy. Um, there does feel like there's a little bit of shadow that you may not be wanting to look at because, you know, let's face it, our bodies are set up to feel good when we connect with others, right? They're not always, um, it's also a way to siphon our energy. And, um, yeah. So I don't know why that's coming up, Capricorn, but you will probably know why I've said that if it relates to you. There's so much wisdom within, okay? There's so much wisdom within, and I feel like this month, it's it's calling you home to rediscover you and to reconnect with the purity of your heart because when you do, this is where the innate wisdom, the eternal wisdom is going to flow to and through you, okay? Because then the next card you got is the inner wakefulness. And this is a number 33, another master number. We're moving to, towards the solstice. And the solstice is the symbol of the returning of the sun. 
S-U-N, not sun. Um, but it's a good way that they planned all the religious holidays around um, the original holidays. Um, so this is really about you recognizing the Christed light within you. The Christed light. This is your power. Your heart is your power. Um, it's one thing, again, it's one thing to look outside of yourself and go, oh, wow, you know, I know what that person needs. And, and we can sit in our, you know, judgment and criticism of other people without even recognizing that, you know, perhaps we're judging and criticizing an aspect of ourselves. Um, and, and, you know, judgment, criticism, jealousy, all of these things really, really low, low vibe, support, um, you know, compassion, um, admiration, respect, all of these are much higher vibe words and energies. So, you know, choose where you want to be. Do you want to be vibing low, stuck in the sort of the carnal, <laughs> the carnal energies of being human? Or do you want to vibe high and set your soul free to shine and to create and to have fun in each and every day? I know where I'd want to be. It was 1616 when I said that. So I'm going to share with you these two affirmations. My health is my life the temple of my experience and the greatest of my blessings. The health, my health is my life, the temple of my experience and the greatest of my blessings. My health is my life, the temple of my experience and the greatest of my blessings. I like to say things three times. Don't ask me why. It's just, it's again, intu intuition tells me to do it that way. So that's the way I, I do it. Okay. So I just trust. Um, well, I'm just looking at the uh, flame here at the throat chakra. Uh, and they're asking me to say to you, are you like burning yourself with your own words? So there's a message here about self-talk. How are you speaking to yourself? And this is, you know, the whole listen to your body reach for your dreams, you know, these are positive things encouraging you to move forward. Are you using positive, affirmative, uplifting words to support yourself? Your focus this month is you. Focus on you, okay? I am completely awake and tuned in to my truth, clarity, and inner wisdom. I am completely awake and tuned into my truth, clarity, and inner wisdom. I am completely awake and tuned into my truth, clarity, and inner wisdom. So let's see what animal guide is here for you. I'm sitting on the floor. Uh, maybe I'm getting a little bit. <laughs> I'm not getting too old for that. I'm still going to sit on the floor. Um, my leg's falling asleep. <laughs> So, uh, okay, let's see. All right, um, let's see, let's see, let's see. I'm pretty sure, did I tell you at the beginning, yearly forecast for 2021? I'm booking those now and starting to record those. Um, there will be a link in the description below. Please do subscribe, like this channel. Um, Check out my website, lisalal.com. Reach out to me if you feel there's any way that I can support you. Um, this is really the energy that we're moving into more and more, is this energy of community and support. Uh, if you'd like to buy me a coffee or tea, you can hit the donate button up above in the banner on this um, YouTube channel. And I'm always greatly appreciative for those people who do support me in those ways. Thank you and know that um, you are deeply appreciated. Come on, when animal is supporting Sagittarius. There it is. See, I just have to. Ah, oh, yes, the unicorn magic. Um, you know, believing in the magic of you. If this doesn't embody or um, speak to the energy of the inner child, I don't know what animal does. Unicorn, and look, it's white. The purity of your heart is meant to be your guide in this lifetime. Trust it. You are a magical, magical being of light. And you really are highly intuitive, 
incredibly creative and if you've been feeling blocked or stuck it's really time to um, look around uh, reflect upon your life and what's there what's supporting you what's not supporting you um, and, and you know perhaps there's going to be a need to let go of some things so that the new um, so that you can create space for the new and what is right here to support you. This is awesome. I love this meme um, it was shared with me years ago. Someone told me I was delusional once and I almost fell off my unicorn. <laughs> uh, yeah, so have fun. Again, that's fun. It's play. It's, it's, you know, it's, this is what we're here for. It's not so serious. So... <clears throat> Both you and Capricorn both got um, uh, animals from the spirit aspect of this deck. So this is like a, the extras in this in this deck, if you will. So let's see um, what it says about the unicorn. So I'm working with the wild unknown. Oh, there it is. Here, the wild unknown spirit animal spirit oracle. I love it. Okay, so it says reconnecting to our higher wisdom or divinity. Yes. Oh, it was 2121 there. In big day. If you're not going to join us in um, the circle, the gathering, the solstice gathering on 1221, please make sure you do something really special that day to really um, Hold and intend to hold the highest amount of light that you you can. The world really needs us all now. Um, it's difficult to see, hear, or think of a unicorn without immediately questioning if it's real. Did they ever exist? Perhaps long, long ago. The mind answers maybe, or it could be, or no way. This very contemplation explains our relationship with divinity and encapsulates our wavering belief in the unicorn. We wonder what divinity is. We wonder where our intuition comes from and if we can really trust it. We think about a higher power or our mind hesitates between yes, no, and maybe. Is it male or female? Does it have a name or is it just a feeling? The unicorn card appears and wakes us up to curiosity about the higher self and the divine. It is a card of questioning, exploring, and contemplating the inexplicable. The mind's eye knows there is something beyond our day-to-day -day lives, a deeper dimension to our experiences. The mind's eye reaches and reaches and reaches out to grasp something more. You are the unicorn, and you have begun your quest for answers. And let's look for answers that unite externally uh, from outside of ourselves. We have been given answers that separate us from one another. You and I may look different yet. How different are we really? How different are we really? The unicorn and the sixth chakra. It's no surprise the subtle essence of the unicorn <laughs> unicorn card resides at the third eye, the exact place from which the unicorn's horn extends. This center is called the Ajna Chakra, or Command Center. The ancient yogis believed it to be responsible for our intellect, intuition, and deepest wisdom. Some say our two eyes see the past and present, while the third eye peers into the future. And I would say the um, third eye is really uh, our imagination. It, you know, one of your first cards here, or the third card out, was reach for your dreams. This, this, you know, this is it. What are your dreams? And now it's time to start living our dreams, not living the things that we, we thought we should do to make money. This is about really co-creating a new earth that is accessible to all beings. You know, unity. Unity within community creates opportunities. 
you are there is an abundance of opportunity here for you Capricorn and it's up to you to trust honor and follow that beautiful heart I see you I feel you I love you until next month until next year take good care and have fun <laughs>